Hello everybody. In this session, we are going to learn about a dual input a balanced output differential amplifier AC analysis. At the end of this session, uh, students will be able to analyze the dual input a balanced output a differential amplifier under its uh, AC operating conditions. So, this is the content of uh, this session. Now, let us start with the uh, definition of AC analysis. So, whenever any electronic circuit or amplifier is analyzed, considering only AC voltages and AC current, so that is called as AC analysis. So, by doing a AC analysis, uh, we can obtain uh, the values for or the equation for uh, basic electrical parameters of that uh, electronic circuit like amplifier. Now, what are the steps to perform AC analysis? In the first step, obtain a AC equivalent circuit uh, by reducing uh, DC voltages plus VCC and minus V double E uh, to 0 and replace uh, the transistors by their uh, T equivalent uh, circuit, T equivalent model or uh, RE model. RE stands for AC emitter resistance small re uh, model of a transistor. So, in this way we can obtain a uh, AC equivalent circuit uh, for a circuit under consideration and uh, after that uh, we can derive the equations for a different uh, basic electrical parameters of uh, uh, amplifier like uh, we can uh, derive the equation for uh, voltage gain, voltage amplification factor, input uh, resistance and uh, output resistance etcetera. In this session, we are going to derive the equation for the voltage gain of overall uh, dual input uh, balanced output uh, differential amplifier. Now, this figure shows uh, the circuit diagram for a uh, dual input uh, balanced output uh, differential amplifier. Considering uh, the two input signals uh, V in 1 and uh, V in 2, uh, R in 1 and R in 2 stands for the internal resistance of a single source that is a source resistance. So, V in 1 is applied to the base of transistor Q 1 and V in 2 is applied to the base of transistor Q 2. So, base terminals of uh, the transistors are acting as a input terminal uh, terminals for uh, this differential amplifier and output is uh, taken between the collectors of uh, two transistors uh, Q 1 and Q 2. So, normally we are taking a voltage at the collector of uh, Q 2 with respect to voltage at the collector of uh, Q 1. So, during uh, DC analysis, uh, AC analysis sorry, AC analysis uh, output uh, uh, taken at the collector of uh, Q 2 with respect to voltage at the collector of Q 1. So, we are assuming uh, as emitter current for both transistors are equal. So, uh, Re 1 uh, equal to Re 2 equal to Re and the second figure shows uh, the waveform for uh, input signal, effective input signal for this amplifier and uh, output signal of this uh, amplifier. Output signal is the difference between uh, two amplified signals from the collectors of two transistor. So, effective input for differential amplifier is the difference between two input voltages V in 1 and V in 2. So, transistors are connected in a common emitter circuit configuration and circuit is biased using two equal uh, DC voltages of opposite polarity plus VCC and minus VWE. So, the polarity assignment for a uh, output voltage uh, or different voltages in this circuit uh, considering a common emitter uh, configuration. So, the polarity for output voltage uh, for this. Uh, even though the output voltages are out of phase with respect to their base signals, for both the inputs are positive, we are getting a negative voltage at the collector of transistor Q1 and Q2. So, even if both voltages are uh, negative, uh, now this is a AC equivalent circuit. In this, the output voltage across collector resistor RC are uh, negative, uh, considering both input voltages are uh, positive. So, even though both uh, output voltage across collector resistor RC are negative, uh, the voltage at the collector of Q 2 
uh, that is C2 uh, is assumed to be more positive uh, with respect to voltage at the collector of Q1 that is at C1 uh, even if uh, the uh, both output voltages are negative with respect to ground uh, considering uh, the input voltage is VIN1 and VIN2 are uh, positive. So, in this figure the transistors are uh, replaced by uh, T equivalent circuit or also called as AC emitter resistance uh, RE uh, model. Uh, so, current flowing in the collector of transistor Q1 that is IC1 and current flowing in the base of transistor Q1 is IB1 and current flowing through the AC emitter resistance IE1 and for transistor Q2 the current flowing in the collector is IC2 and current flowing through AC emitter resistance RE is IE2 and current flowing in the base of transistor Q2 is IB2. So, considering uh, the loops uh, loop 1 and loop 2 using uh, KVL we can write a voltage equation for loop 1 and loop 2. So, we are going to derive the equation for uh, differential uh, voltage gain of this uh, differential amplifier. So, using KVL uh, to loop 1 and loop 2 uh, we can write the voltage equations. Uh, so, these are the assumptions we are ma making while analyzing this circuit. Uh, considering AC voltage and AC current, uh, the emitter currents for both transistors are equal. So, RE1 equal to RE2 equal to RE. The collector signal voltages are 180 degree out of phase with respect to their base signals, and polarity assignment for all voltages is uh, done considering a common emitter uh, configuration. The voltage VC2 is assumed to be more positive with respect to VC1, even though. Uh, collector signal voltages are, are negative uh, with respect to uh, ground. So, using KVL we can write a voltage equation for loop 1 and loop 2. So, V in 1 minus R in uh, 1 into I B 1 minus uh, R e into I 1 minus capital R e into bracket I 1 plus I 2 equal to 0. Similarly, we can write a voltage equation for a uh, loop 2 V in 2 minus R in 2 uh, I B 2 minus R e into I 2 minus capital R e into bracket I 1 plus I 2 equal to 0. So, you know uh, the collector current is approximately equal to emitter current uh, I B 1 equal to I 1 upon beta D C and I B 2 equal to I 2 upon beta D C beta E C. So, we can replace I B by I upon beta. Uh, since I is approximately uh, equal to uh, collector current I C. So, we can rewrite the equations uh, substituting uh, I B by I upon beta. So, V in 1 minus R in 1 upon beta I C into I 1 minus R e into I 1 minus R e capital R e into bracket I 1 plus I 2 equal to 0. Similarly, second equation is V in 2 minus R in upon beta I C into I 2 mm. minus R e into I 2 minus R e into bracket I 1 plus I 2 equal to 0. So, generally value of R in 1 upon beta E c and R in 2 upon beta E c are very small for simplicity can be neglected and uh, we can rewrite the equation rewrite the equation R e plus R e into, uh, into I 1 plus R e into I 2 equal to V in 1. So, uh, second equation is uh, R e into I 1 plus R e plus R e into I 2 equal to V in 2. So, equation 3 and 4 uh, can be solved simultaneously for I 1 and I 2 using a Cramer's rule. So, we can uh, write the equation for I 1 using a Cramer's rule. So, uh, small r e plus capital R e into uh, V in 1 minus R e into V in 2 divided by R e plus small r e plus capital R e bracket square minus r e square capital R e square. Similarly, we can uh, write the equation for I 2. So, r e plus uh, capital R e into V in 2 minus r e capital R e into V in 1 divided by r e plus r e capital R e bracket square minus capital R e square. So, now we can uh, write the equation for output voltage. The output voltage V o is given by V o equal to V c 2 minus V c 1. So, 
for a VC2 we can write IC minus RC into IC2 minus into bracket for VC1 we can write RC into IC1. So, after simplif uh, simplification RC into I1 IC1 minus RC into IC2. Since IC is approximately equal to I, so V1 equal to RC into bracket I1 minus I2. So, uh, we can substitute uh, the value for I1 and I2 uh, in our equation. We are derived the equation for I1 and I2. So, after that uh, output voltage, equation for output voltage V O equal to R C into bracket. So, after a simplification, so we are getting the equation for output voltage V O equal to R, R C upon small r e into bracket V in 1 minus V in 2. So, let this is equation number 7. It indicates that output voltage of differential amplifier is uh, directly proportional to V in 1 minus V in 2. It amplifies the differential input signal V in 1 minus V in 2. So, differential voltage gain of this uh, differential amplifier A D is equal to output voltage V O upon the differential input voltage V D. So, that is equal to R C upon R E. So, differential gain of differential amplifier uh, it is, uh, is similar to uh, the equation for uh, gain of uh, common emitter transistor amplifier. So, that is R C upon R E. Now, students can pause the video here and uh, try to answer this question. What is the significance of AC analysis of a differential amplifier? So, AC analysis uh, means uh, whenever circuit is analyzed considering only AC voltage and AC current. So, that is called as uh, AC analysis and AC analysis is performed uh, to obtain uh, the equations for uh, basic electrical parameters of uh, amplifier. This is a reference. Thank you.